I'm gonna die. That's really spicy. It's getting worse. How's it still getting worse? I can't breathe. I'm getting a little like lightheaded. Alright, today I have Joanna. I'm Joanna, a senior. And Okay, let's get start. Yeah. And I'm studying biology with a minor in chemistry. Hi guys, my name is Eliza. I'm a senior studying architecture. Um, my go-to fun fact, I am not a citizen of the U.S. <laughs> so I can't move. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I was born in New Zealand, so I can't vote. My name is Johnny Chan. I am a senior graduating in May, and I'm studying integrated biology with a minor in chemistry. Yeah, I'm looking to go to med school after a year. That's, that's about it. Favorite color is blue. I like cows. <laughs> Favorite animal. I am Justin Huang. I am obviously a senior. I am majoring in stats. I like playing guitar. Okay. Piano. Okay. I like hiking. All right. Yeah. Hi. My name is Connor Melton. I'm a senior major like majoring in specialized chemistry and I play the saxophone and I'm from Northern Illinois. I'm Chris. Um, I study mechanical engineering, about to graduate. I have non-standard music tastes. Like I do like some modern like chiller pop, but I also like jazz, like funk music. Um, probably because I'm a drummer, so it's been like I think playing that made me appreciate it a lot. We're just gonna get started with our with our first one. Fifty seven Buffalo hot sauce. Yeah. You <gasps> they need, you need look, to... they're the same shape. That's so cute. We got the boots. Yeah. yeah. Three. Huh, three, one, two, three. So Joanna, uh, I know that in high school and beginning of college, you did gymnastics. What was kind of like the thing that you like feared the most when you were doing gymnastics? I was afraid of doing something stupid and injuring myself. Did you ever injure yourself? Yeah. There's like a thing in gymnastics called balking. It's like when you start a skill and just like stop doing it halfway through because like fear takes over, kind of like paralysis type thing. Mm -hmm. So that happened to me a few times and it's very scary and not fun. And so that's like the scariest part of it. It's like you don't know like you have to trust that you'll like follow through. The next one is um, Tabasco. Cheers. Three, two, one. <laughs> a little bit more of an immediate kick. Yes, that one is hotter. But only slightly so. Yep. My next question kind of involves, um, actually it'll be a lot better if I just pull up this photo. Okay, but Tori found this picture. <laughs> Tori found this picture a while ago. Okay. But it's, it's this photo. Yes. This photo of you as prom king. <laughs> okay. Kind of, what's the story behind how you became prom king and kind of like, what was it like being being the king of prom? Yeah, so that was my senior year, obviously. And our school had, most of the years, like my freshman through sophomore year, like for homecoming and stuff, like a football player or someone to like one. Our senior year, I think it was a group effort. We're like, yeah, we're done with that. So the music department and some of the like honor students were like, we're gonna rig it. How did you but, rig this election? Did you well, like well, go into the ballot boxes well, and like? Well, no. You you could vote for like five people or something to make the finals. So you just made sure this one person made the finals, and then the entire music department and the some of the honor students all voted for one person. Okay. <laughs> so like we were a unified voting front, okay. and everyone else was not. <laughs> so. Yeah, so then that happened for homecoming, and then they did the same thing for prom, and, but rigged it in my favor. So then I was prom king. Moving on <laughs> to, to, to the next sauce. This one, definitely a little bit worse. The zombie apocalypse. And when you say you're good with spicy food? I enjoy spicy. Um, I have my limits, but I do like spicy. All right, all right, one. Two, three. That's not bad. Obviously, you've been here for a while. Mm -hmm. um, you're you're getting a little older now. You're going to bed early, waking up earlier. <laughs> no, no, I'm only going to bed early because I'm waking up earlier, not because I'm growing old. If I wanted to stay up, I could. 
<laughs> okay. There's, there's differences here. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been here for for you served your four years. Hopefully, they were they were good. Some pretty good good four years. But obviously, there was probably some things um, that you adjusted to, or learned from, right? And kind of like what's something that you just learned at college that you think would be really good for um, a lower classmen to know? I think something um, that I have learned in is maybe and this is like a broad sense saying right like not to take things too seriously I think learning this about myself has helped me kind of like approach others differently but like realizing just how imperfect and broken I am and how often I make mistakes right like we're in college it's a huge growing time like you change so much um, when you're in college and just real and a lot of that's some of that's good and some of it's like good things about yourself but a lot of it is negative things like you realize like oh i'm not as patient as i thought i was i'm not as nice as i think i am i'm not like right i engage in things like gossip and stuff and i think when i first realized this and saw these things about me and even when other people point this out about you it's not fun but when you realize these things like oh i'm not as good as i thought i was um, it's tough and like i don't really know how non-christians are able to deal deal with this or whether they figure this out or not, but like, just kind of makes you realize how much you need God's grace. Um, and then, moving, like, taking that a step further, right? Like, being able to apply that to other people, right? Like, I am so broken here. Um, yeah. It's okay to make mistakes, and it's okay to be who I am. Um, and it's okay for other people to make mistakes, even if they do get on your nerves sometimes. Or get, bottom line, like, it's not that serious. It's not that serious at all. You, uh, Make mistakes, you forgive yourself, you move forward, you learn from it. When other people make mistakes, try to let it get to you, let it go. They move forward and they grow from it. I think just realizing I'm not as good as I thought I was is a big thing here. Um, and neither is anybody else, right? Everyone's going through these grown things and being able to help them out and be gracious in that. Good things to learn early on, that way you can have a good time here. Right? Because if you spend so much time just being angry or upset at people or at yourself, you're really going to waste this time because yeah, you don't want to be sitting alone in your room mad at other people when you only have four years here. After this death. After death. Right? That is a very comforting name. Warning. Yeah, there's a, there's a warning. I'm glad you noticed is that. Is that like a legit name? Like it's, it's kind of, I don't know. It contains the hottest known ingredients on the planet Earth. That sounds... That sounds like a bit of a hyperbole to me, but I don't know. Maybe it does. Cheers. Okay. Three, two, one. How are you feeling? Mm. It, you know, it didn't start too bad. Still manageable, but it gets worse by the second. What is your favorite God moment? All right, strap in, because it's story time. Some summer, I went to Haiti. It was like probably between high school and college on a mission trip. As we were leaving, we were gonna go to like a, a dinner somewhere and then a hotel before we go to the airport to fly out. And then literally as we were on the road, going like to the main city of Haiti, like the country like blew up in like riots and stuff. Cool. Like as we were on the road. And it, like, it was crazy because um, people were like, setting up roadblocks and like they would like set tires on fire they would even like set some car some cars on fire like it was crazy and definitely not the kind of time that you want to be like at like a foreign country as like a half white <laughs> half asian dude you know <laughs> fortunately i went with the people i went with were like almost all of them were haitian american so it's not like we're just a van full of white dudes in haiti <laughs> Um, and we, like we had a local driver, but like, um, so like this was happening and then like all the roadblocks were like making it so that we couldn't get to our location. What eventually at a certain point, we kind of got like cornered in like at an intersection and there's like people everywhere. And then there'd be like people like hopping on our van um, and like, like banging on the windows and like yelling in the window and like, they, and they're speaking Creole, so like I don't understand what's happening. So like, I, honestly, that's probably the moment where 
I felt the most like, wow, I might die here. Like I was, I was genuinely scared. And then, so like they were talking with our driver a lot, things were happening. And then eventually they started like, they would talk to like the people blocking the roads and they're like all yelling at each other. And then they were like kind of letting us drive through. But then like they were like, like the people were just like hanging off our van like the whole time. And they're like, so they were taking us somewhere and I had no idea like where they were taking us. And like no one was explaining anything because like, you know, it was so hectic. Yeah. They guided us to like the, the Marriott in Haiti, in like their capital city. But it's, it was like bougie and it's expensive because it's, I don't know, it's meant for like rich people who go to Haiti for some reason. They brought us to the back and then like there were like soldiers there and stuff and then like at the, at the gate they were talking to them and there was like a whole lot of like arguing going on and then at some point so one of the dudes from my church um his dad like they're haitian um got out of the van and hopped on like the back of a motorcycle with like these people and then they like started riding and i was like i was like yo where are they going and like his son was also kind of freaking out. He's like, "Where's my dad going, bro?" <laughs> um, but I guess they they just brought him around to the front, and then he's talking to like the desk people. But all that to say, like, we got rooms in the Marriott, which is not where we were planning on. We were planning on just going to some random like local, like small mm -hmm. hotel, and then I like where it really like I saw like wow, this like was an act of God. It was because like like we were seeing. Well, we weren't seeing, but like people would be telling us like through the news, like a lot of hotels were kind of getting like raided kind of like not like stormed into the hotel, but like people would be like throwing rocks into like random windows. Um, but like they couldn't at the Marriott because like there's like a lot of like it's gated. There's like a lot of security there. Yeah. Just the fact that like we were supposed to go somewhere else and then but then like there are these dudes that like they actually helped us. Even though I was pretty terrified, um, and like they were doing it for for money, like they're like we'll bring you here, but like you have to pay us. But like regardless, like they still helped us. They made us like a lot safer that night than we would have been. I think the the main thing is that like God really like provided for us here and protected us by like leading us to this hotel. And I think that's in my life the most tangible um, memory that always like comes back to me when I'm thinking of like a way that like God worked through something. I touched I touched this and then I touched my eye and then <laughs> <laughs> like here I go. <laughs> <laughs> well I was I was opening the cap and closing it and then I touched my and eye. And then your eye and was, was itchy. Oh no I was just out of commission for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah I was like ah oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> Kevin's I'm like, gonna I'm watch ready. two people die today. <laughs> okay. Oh jeez <laughs> this is bad. This is bad looks. Here, I'll switch with you. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find significantly less. That's just <laughs> that's, that's, that's the same just amount. Much. That's the same amount. And you spilled. <laughs> oh no. burning my mouth and I'm sweating on my face. No, I'll drink root beer. My mouth is just too on fire to feel it. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's still getting worse. <laughs> I'm okay. Why are my eyes perspirating? <laughs> what? This is a jump. <laughs> I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun. Oh. Oh, I was doing so good. And this? <laughs> and this one. <laughs> yeah, oh you got milk my. here. You got water here. You got more water here. Oh. Okay. Oh, why is it such a big jump? <laughs> oh. Your glasses are starting to fog up. Yeah. 
Oh. Hot sauce. Um, definitely the worst one. What? It just builds. It's in my throat now. Oh, but <clears throat> how are you feeling right now? I felt better. You... It, it's it's pretty hot. Three, two, one. I'm just actually your second time. Now I remember. I left my room. <clears throat> you know, I had it together. Not the most fun time in the world. Not my most fun memory with you, Chris. But no. No, it's not. Wow. That is spicy. That is very spicy. What do you have going on after college? I mean, I have a BS in architectural studies, so I have to go to grad school. Okay. So, I'll be going to grad school. I'm going to take a gap year and then work. It's <laughs> really spicy. It's for sure built. <laughs> Where do you plan on going to grad school? I don't know, wherever I make it into. I don't really want to be here. I'm kind of tired. I just don't want to be around us anymore, guys. It's okay. Two years of AOing. Too much for her. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> done with you guys. Ew, I think I'm burning through like mouth, not even just your tongue. I need to get a master's degree, but deciding if I'm going to stay in architecture or not and all that. Just because, like, I don't know, I feel there's just like a lot of stuff that I don't know about my life at the moment and what I want to do. Yeah, I don't know. That's not a great question to end on because I don't know. <laughs> I got accepted into the um, Master of Computer Science program. Ha! Huh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, so that's what I'm doing. It's a three semester program. It's a coursework-based uh, <laughs> master's degree. Oh, yeah, I'm really glad that I got accepted because um, I just met, you know, all my intervarsity friends just last semester. I've only been I've been part of this community for two semesters and... <sighs> yep. Not ready to leave yet. Oh, not ready to leave these people. Also, um, I like the job I have here, the SDRP job, where I got promoted, so I'll be able to stay for another year and a half. Thanks, yeah, thanks for coming today, um, taking the time on your schedule. You will be missed next year, and um, yeah, hopefully, maybe hopefully you'll never have to go through this again. Alright, well, Eliza, thanks for um, thanks for taking the time out of out of your very busy schedule to, <laughs> to come here today. I hope I hope the rest of your semester goes goes by well. We'll definitely all miss you uh, in the presence that you brought to IB. Alright, thanks for thanks again, Johnny. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming out today, Justin. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to do this with me. To get to get like a champ. Yeah. You did well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for thanks for coming out today. Thanks for thanks for coming, Chris. You are my last full point interview, so I, I saved the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> All the <laughs> we'll miss you next year. In your presence in the six pack. Thoughts. What's one fact? Fun fact about you. So one fact. Fun fact about me. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 mostly coke free. Isn't that crazy? I used to be such a coke addict. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Should we? Do you, want, do you want us to bring something over? Is the point of this for me like to cry? Was Joanna crying yesterday from the spiciness? No, she left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got up and just left. She just walked out. Oh yeah, she said she put her face underwater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tammy. Shout out. Um, if you don't know who Tammy is, you might be better off. Just joking, Tammy. I appreciate you. Anyway. <laughs>
Hello, I'm Chris. I st- <laughs> Wait, let me run that back. Are you a cat or a dog person? Hmm. There's one right answer. There's one right answer to this question. <laughs> uh, puppy. Puppy, so, so dogs. Sure. Okay. That's that's the right answer. Okay. Dog, dog is the right okay. answer. Okay. Kevin's about to try to bomb. Man. And I Kevin too. Kevin's about to try to bomb too. After, after you eat it, talk to each other, and then you get the full experience. Oh boy. Is it is it too much or too is little? That too much. That's that's probably enough. Oh, okay. It depends on your spice tolerance, really. Oh. Oh, I do. I struggle or... with I struggle with the pool ducks. I, I struggle. struggle with too, I struggle with shin. Cheers. Hey, is there. Oh, oh my man. god. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta talk, Kevin. Kevin's dying. Kevin's like, I can't. Oh, he's dying out here. It can look his words, bro. Kevin, you gotta swallow it. It's in it, my man. nose. Okay, oh. Can I drink this? What? Can I drink this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm getting a little dizzy. Drink oh, no. <laughs> Imagine I go over there and it's just not rolling. Oh, gotta do it again. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm feeling like tingling sensation in my body. My hands in my face. My back in my body. I can't breathe. I'm getting a little like lightheaded. Like Dude, if I breathe, it's over. <laughs> How do you do this? Is it, is it going away? No. Uh. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'm getting cold. I think it's gone. <clears throat> We're good.